Hey, Kendrick. Uh, Coach Saban has, has mentioned that you're just a real tough physical guy. Uh, what, what's behind that mindset for you in that play? Uh, you know, coming into, you know, coming to Bama, you know, I just, I just knew I was going to have to, you know, beat out the best if I wanted to be the best, to play with the best. You know, so, like, I approach everything, you know, more than 110. Everybody wants to go 110, but I just, I just go all out. Whatever all out is for me, you know, you go – you might go 110 one play, then your next play you only got 80. So I'm gonna give Coach Saban all my 80. Then the next play I only might I might got 65. So I'm still gonna give him all my 65. So I just go out everything I do, even you know off the field in school, in the weight room, things like that. Is there a, a player in the NFL that you maybe you know, model your game after, or compare yourself to at all? Uh, I mean, me, I, I like the NFL period. You know those guys, they play with a lot of uh, you know depth and detail and like everything they do. So. Not really, because I, I mean, I, I like a lot of people, you know, I, I grew up watching, you know, DK when he was playing. So, and then, you know, people compare me to uh, Debo Samuel. So, I mean, I, I watch them all. I watch Tyreek. I mean, I watch AJ Brown. I watch Smitty, you know, the guys that came from him. I, I get to watch film of them even when they was here. So I, I get to see how they, you know, how they built their process up and the things they got better at and things that they were weak at and what they did to fix it. You've been lined up in a di bunch of different positions. You've been getting the ball in creative ways. How difficult is that to prepare for? How much extra work does that take to prepare for throughout the week to, to kind of prepare yourself for these kind of unique situations? Oh, yeah, most definitely. It's not it's not the easiest thing, you know, coming to a week. And then, and then uh, actually, it's a positive thing, though, you know, getting called on by the OC saying, you know, we have a role for you or, you know, we, we have something, you know, just special for you. And uh, to take it upon yourself to not only know it, but to master it and go out on the field and execute it is it's something major. Coach Saban said you've been a really big part of, of special teams, and now it's kind of translating into a bigger role on offense. Um, how has playing on special teams kind of helped you develop in your time here and you know, helped you develop a role on offense as well? I most definitely, you know, coming in my freshman year, you know, I played a little bit on uh, on offense, but then, you know, I I made my you know my day break on special teams, you know, because that was basically my my Super Bowl every time, you know, go out there on on kickoff, punt, punt, return. I played all four phases, even like I do now, and it was just like, you know, I just tried to translate that to the ball, you know what I'm saying? When I'm on offense, you know, go out there, catch the ball, now turn it straight to a kickoff return, you know what I'm saying? Get it, see the hole, you know, make a play, and don't expect, I mean, expect for the best, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Coach Saban and a lot of your teammates have said you're a really hard worker at practice. How important is practice to you? Uh, practice is, is most definitely is, is the most important thing. You know, practice is what prepares for the games. And, I mean, if we, we don't have practice, we wouldn't have good games, which, I mean, I feel like practice is, is on top of everything. So, like, how you practice and practice is, is going to show up on the field. When you are lined up in the backfield, how does that change things for you in terms of what you're looking for and what things you might be able to do from that spot? Uh, I mean, you know, coming out the backfield, you know, I just I just do what I usually do, you know, do read my keys. I read the play pre step. I, I see what coverage they're in. I see how they ID. I see what things I could do. I, I mean, even, you know, coming into games, we might get looks that we haven't shown in practice. So I still have to make adjustments, you know, pre snap and during the play. So it, it, it played a major part. Kind of two quick ones along those lines. In high school, were you similarly, you know, on special teams and then going to line up at receiver, line up at the backfield, do a little bit of everything? Yeah, most definitely. Coming out of high school, I was an athlete. So, I mean, I played offense, defense, and I played everything on, you know, special teams. So, you know, this this is just second nature to me. And how do you embrace that? How do you embrace that mentality coming in knowing, you know, I might not have a defined role. I got to carve that out for myself and, you know, be open to doing different things as well. Oh, I mean, shoot, it's just, you know, coming in, being prepared and, you know, doing what, what it takes to, you know, not only execute what, what I'm being asked to do, but the guys around me to help. Because I might not get the ball every play, but, you know, what I do might affect somebody else that get the ball. It's just like if Jam gets the ball, what I do, my block may be the key block or my route may be the key route that runs the corner out of the way or pulls the safety out of the window. Yeah, Kendrick, I was just curious, uh, when you're back on kickoffs, how do you make the decision on uh, whether to run it back or take a fair catch if it's not to the goal line? Uh, I mean, all that's decided on, you know, the kick. It's just like a punt. You know, you look at the direction of the ball, how, how you track the ball, which we're all taught that stuff like that. So, and then the timing, it, it really has come down with the timing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just say a guy kicks a ball, which hopefully never happens, but it's in the air for 10 seconds. That's enough time even for me to run down and I can run through the end zone in 10 seconds. 
So uh, that's something, you know, you don't want to catch because, you know, I want to put as an offense player, I want to put our offense in a great position, you know, to come out. You know what I'm saying? I don't want us to be catching the ball on the one yard line and get tackled on the one. You know what I'm saying? And then we're coming out with 99 yards to go. I think it was this time last year, we, we talked to Ja'Cory, and he came up and talked about how you were cutting hair like a barber, yeah. and you like to joke your teammates. Is that still something that you do? Yeah, most definitely. You know, I joke with all the guys, and, uh, you know, I just I just like to be an all-around player. You know, I don't want to be just some person that's always quiet or, you know, always in somebody's face or something. I just, you know, I, I just want to have fun, you know, my time being here, which, you know, life isn't long, but, you know, while I'm here, I want to I wanna enjoy it. So Justin talked about these 7 a.m. pregame meals in the early games. Is that the same pregame? Is that breakfast-themed pregame meal, or do you eat, like, a certain meal, and then what's your go-to pregame meal? Uh, I mean, they're all the same. So, like, what I mean, like, it, if it's, we have a 11 o'clock game like we do, the breakfast times, it's, it's going to always be the same. That schedule is always set the same. So you might as well get used to it. You know, Coach Saban's going to get up at the same time. We're going to get up at the same time. We're going to get our feet down, and we got to be ready to play ball at 11 on kickoff. You talked at the beginning of this that if you want to beat out the best, you know, you have to beat out the best to be the best. At a place like Alabama where there's so much depth, especially in the receiver room, is it kind of tough at times to be patient to get your to get your time on the field, or is it just part of the process of being here? I mean, it's most definitely a part of the process of being here. You know, you might come in and be the best, but you might not know what it takes to become the best. You know what I'm saying? You might have the talent, but in, in mind, you don't know the plays or anything. And then, you know, it might be vice versa. You might know the plays, but you just might not have a skill set that somebody else might have. So it's just taking it all and soaking it in and, you know, becoming, being able to adapt, you know, to Coach Saban's process and, you know, the stuff that has been built here. Anyone else? Thanks, Appreciate y'all.